Welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to learn how to make sodium hypochlorite bleach. Sodium hypochlorite bleach from this recipe. This recipe is for about 40 liters of bleach. For 40 liters of bleach. And the materials we are going to use and the quantities are calcium hypochlorite, 2000 grams, which is equivalent to 2 kilograms. Caustic soda, 1000 grams, which is equivalent to 1 kilogram. And soda ash, 2000 grams, which is equivalent to 2 kilograms. Right from our theory, we have learned that sodium hypochlorite, which has the formula NaOCl, is a strong bleaching agent. It's a strong bleaching agent. We've also learned that when chlorine reacts with cold, dilute sodium hydroxide, which is also called caustic soda, it yields bleach, which is sodium hypochlorite. We've also learned that calcium hypochlorite is a source of chlorine when it is added to water. That means when calcium hypochlorite reacts with water, it liberates chlorine. All right, so from the recipe, the calcium hypochlorite is going to act as the source of chlorine. The source of chlorine. The caustic soda is going to act as a base to react with the chlorine and the soda ash is going to act as a pH booster to elevate the pH of the product because bleach works effectively when the pH is high. Alright, so now let's see the reactions that are going to be involved in this preparation. The first reaction is the reaction of calcium hypochlorite with water. So when calcium hypochlorite which has the formula this react with water is going to split into calcium hydroxide and chlorine. So that's the first reaction that will take place in our preparation. The second reaction is going to be the reaction of the liberated chlorine with the caustic soda to yield sodium hypochlorite, which is the active ingredient or the active agent in the bleach we are going to make. All right, the soda ash, like I told you, is merely going to be added to elevate the pH of the product so as to improve its cleaning properties. All right, let me introduce you to the substances that we are going to use. This is calcium hypochlorite. That is the source of chlorine. Look at how it looks like. It is crystalline and has the order of chlorine. This is two kilograms. This is caustic soda, caustic soda, this is one kilogram, you can see I covered it, this is because it is deliquescent, that means if you expose it to air, it will absorb moisture and turn to a solution, so after weighing it, you have to cover it. This is soda ash, soda ash. Two thousand grams or two kilograms. All right, now let's see the procedure. How are you going to make the the bleach? The procedure. The first thing to do is to measure water. You have water for, for forty liter of water, clean water into a plastic vessel. And after that, you add the caustic soda and stir. After adding the caustic soda and stir, you allow the solution to cool. Then you add the calcium hypochlorite and stir. Then finally you add the soda ash and stir and then cover it and allow it to stand for a minimum of 24 hours. All right, we are going to start the preparation. This is uh, 40 liters of water. You measure 40 liters of water into a vessel like this. It's 40 liters of water. 
So the first reaction, we are going to react, we are going to dissolve the sodium hydroxide in the water, then allow it to cool. So this is sodium hydroxide, that's the caustic soda, one kilogram caustic soda. So I will add it to the water. As sodium hydroxide or caustic soda plus water. We add everything to the water. And stir. You must have a wooden blender or stirrer like this. Stir it to dissolve. Stir it to dissolve. It doesn't take time to dissolve. So, as you can see, it's dissolving. The caustic soda is dissolved in water. All right. Cool. You allow the solution to cool before you add the next ingredients. All right, that is the sodium hydroxide solution. That's the caustic soda solution. The caustic soda has dissolved. Uh, it doesn't take time to dissolve, just about uh, two to three minutes to finish dissolving and you have a clear solution like this. All right, so the next ingredient is the calcium hypochlorite, which we are going to add, okay? This is the calcium hypochlorite. It's going to, when we add it to water, chlorine will be liberated. And the liberated chlorine will now react with the caustic soda in the solution here. So calcium hypochlorite added to the solution and you stir. This one will take time to dissolve. You stir for about 10 minutes for everything to dissolve. Okay. Calcium hypochlorite plus the solution. Okay, so you'll be stirring it for about 10 minutes. You keep stirring it for about 10 minutes. All right. We are now going to add the final ingredient, which is soda ash. Soda ash. You add the soda ash to it. And stir. That's the final ingredient. Stir it. And then you cover it. Cover it. And allow it to stand for about 24 hours before you now feel tired. Welcome back. Uh, you can, as you can see, our bleach is ready. It has been kept for about 24 hours, and as you can see, the reaction is uh, now complete. So we have our bleach solution. So we are going to filter it. You need uh, a filter material like this. Uh, you need a funnel where you put the filter in, into. So and then you put it into the container that you want to put the, the bleach solution. Now filter it. 
if your child like this so you are, you are you remove the the unreacted particles of the calcium hypochlorite okay that is what you are filtering out all right so that is the final product you can use this to wash your white clothes i can actually use it i mean sell it to make money thank you very much